Today we're going to tie a deceiver. Halfway down the shank, stop your thread wraps. Here you will tie in two pieces of saddle hackle. When tying in the first piece, make two loose wraps just to hold it in place while setting up for the second. Make one loose wrap and then tighten it, and then bring your thread wraps forward, locking in the hackle. Trim the tag ends and then bring the bobbin back down the shank of the hook. Make a couple thread wraps between the hook shank and hackle. Now we will tie in two more strands of hackle following the same steps as before. Take a strand of flash and double it over your thread, line it up with the side of the shank, and make two wraps to hold it in place. Now repeat this step on the other side. Once you have them in both in place, you can make a couple more wraps to lock them in. Then trim the pieces of flash to length. Take your flashaboo and tie it in, allowing it to stick out the end of the fly as far as the crystal flash, but do not trim the tag end yet. Tie in a second piece on the opposite side of the shank, following the same steps as before. Pull the tag ends of the flashaboo back and make thread wraps back over it, locking it in place. Tie in a couple more strands, working the thread back towards the eye of the hook and locking them in. Throw in a whip finish or half hitch at this point.
Take the flashaboo and start make connecting wraps up the shank. Tie in the flashaboo and then pull the tag ends back and make a few more wraps to lock it in place. After trimming the tag ends of the flashaboo, take the time and brush out the craft fur before you attempt to tie it in. After cutting a clump, you will want to separate the short and long fibers. To do this, grab both ends firmly and pull. Make two loose wraps, and then make sure your crafter is lined up. Then pull tight and lock it in place. You will notice the hook point will hold the craft fur to one side. I like to tie in a second clump to fill in. Now after cutting a clump of your second color, we will separate the fibers and proceed to tie it in the same as the white. Making two loose wraps before pulling it tight. Now make a few more wraps to lock all the fibers in place. Now trim the tag ends of both the white and blue craft fur. Make tight thread wraps covering the cut ends and helping lock the craft fur in. Prepare and tie in your last clump of white craft fur following the same steps as before by starting with separating the long and short fibers. Make sure that you have good coverage of craft fur around the bottom half of the shank. Now do the same with the top half of the shank with the blue craft fur, starting with separating the long and short fibers, and then proceeding to tie it in, making sure to have good coverage. Make sure to use consistently tight thread wraps to avoid any craft fur slipping out. Trim the tag ends as close to the shank as possible.
make tight, touching thread wraps covering the cut ends of the craft fur. This will lock the craft fur in place and help create the head of the fly. Now whip finish and cut the thread. Use either a comb or a toothbrush to brush out your fly before placing the eyes. Now take your 3D eyes and place one on either side of the shank. You want them to rest right before the eye of the hook and just slightly covering the side of the craft fur. Before applying the UV resin, make sure the eyes are orientated correctly. Using a thick UV resin, apply it between the eyes on both the top and bottom. Use your bodkin and run it along the edge of the eyes to give it a neat appearance by removing any excess resin. Cure each side before moving on to the next. There you have it, tribe, how to tie a deceiver.